Which course line is longer? All right, let's get into this. Very first one, Egypt and Peru. I feel like it must be Egypt because like a whole half of it is against the sea. I'm going to go with Egypt. 5,000 compared to 3,000. It was quite close. Okay, next is Haiti and Egypt. Well, I think Egypt's quite a lot bigger, but Haiti is more islandy, so maybe it adds up more. Now nah, I'm going to go with Egypt. Egypt's pretty big. Yeah, there we go. Japan and Haiti. It must be Japan, right? Yeah, look at that. 29,000 kilometers. Okay, that's what happens when you've got a big old island with lots of islands in the islands and island 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 latvia nah there is no way that latvia is beating japan i got i misunderstood the game <laughs> quick go get a map i know maps i've looked at maps before shut up our score speed is three <laughs> finland and colombia uh, colombia it's kind of only really it's top bit as a coastline i think finland's got a big droopy coastline around the bottom and then a bit up the top as well it's got to be finland surely yeah look at that 31,000 kilometers thank you very much okay the next one iceland iceland's all coastline doesn't border anything else but finland is just way bigger so look at that though see it just shows you when it's all coast it's just an island country. There's gonna be all kinds of little squiggly meanders. Them kilometers, they're gonna add up. Iceland and Ghana. Ooh, so Ghana is landlocked on three sides, isn't it? It's only the bottom that's got coastline. I'm gonna say Iceland, but I might be wrong. Yes, it actually turns out to be an easy one. Seychelles, you would think that all of the islands are just too small to really add up that much coastline, but 700 isn't very much. I should probably go with Seychelles, you know. I'm gonna go with Seychelles. <gasps> Oh, it was so close! Do you not know what a country is? This is really quite embarrassing for me, to be fair. Okay, we'll play again. Portugal and Norway. Right, this is the one. Okay, we're gonna get to dual figures. I think of them as somewhat similar sizes, and they both kind of border other countries in the same sort of way, like all on one side. But Norway is probably longer, so I'm gonna go with Norway. 53,000? What the? Oh my god! I need to have a look at a map. Oh my god. I mean, obviously, Makata's projection does mess it up a bit, but Norway is way, way longer than Portugal. Svalbard. That's that's what's gonna add it all up. Oh my god, Norway is so much bigger than Portugal. Genuinely thought they were like kind of about the same size. So yeah, all of this is obviously coastline and then all of this around here is coastline as well. Jeez, that's embarrassing. Okay, obviously Norway is gonna win that one between Seo Tome and Principe. Next, we have got the Seychelles, which was, I can't quite remember to be honest. Yeah, it was a bit higher. Cool, that's fine. New high score on the horizon. Got to be Haiti. Just shot 2,000 for Haiti. Okay, I'll try and remember that. Bosnia. Famously has an incredibly small coastline because Croatia's just hugging it all. So I am going to say Haiti wins that one. Oh my god, just 23 kilometers. Just in case you've never seen it, it is actually kind of mental. So here is Bosnia and you can see that Croatia just like slides all the way down the coast and all they are left with is this tiny little gap. And then Croatia even on this bit as well, this like exclave, that is just ridiculous. That's so unfair. And then they're landlocked the rest of the way around. Okay, we're on a new island. Score Vanuatu must beat that. Yeah, there we go. 3,000. 23. I can't get over that. That is ridiculous. Finland, it's gonna be big. I'm gonna click it. Yeah, 31k. Okay, then Equatorial Guinea. Finland's tough to beat, surely. Right, let's get to double figures. Vietnam. Uh, between Equatorial Guinea and Vietnam, it's definitely got a much longer coastline. The next one is going to be United States of America. Possibly one of the biggest coastlines in the world. Big thanks to Alaska for a lot of contribution there. I'm gonna click that. Ah, oh, 133,000. And we're on double figures now. So what is the longest country's coastline? I am assuming it's Russia. Like the top bit along the Arctic. Oh, but maybe United States wins, you know. Because there's just more opportunity for coastline. Because it's less landlocked. I think United States might have the edge over Russia. But maybe I'm totally wrong there. Brazil's obviously going to have a massive one. I'm going to guess it's United States. Well, I guess we'll find out if any of those other countries pop up. Okay, US obviously winning that one. Demolishing Croatia. Next, Puerto Rico. Um, Croatia, I think. We're fine, we're fine. Very difficult working out scale between two countries that are just nowhere near each other that totally different continents. Georgia and Puerto Rico. Georgia's got a lot of countries surrounding it. I don't think there's that much opportunity for coastline. I'm on 12. I'm quite nervous. I can't obviously look at a map, but I will after this guess. I am going to go with Georgia though. <laughs> We're in the top 10% now. We're making progress. Good. Right, where are you, Georgia? Let's get a look at you. You're right there. It's literally just this bit here. And then comparing that to Puerto Rico. Oh, it goes all the way around. But he's only a dinky little fella. Okay, let's see if we can beat 12. Barbados and Fiji. I'm going Barbados. Oh, no. Oh, dear me. <laughs> Barbados is way smaller than I thought it was. Thailand and Comoros. Comoros, lots of little islands. Thailand's quite long, so I think I'll go with Thailand. 
Island. Yeah, 7,000 compared to 400. Okay, can we beat 12? Russia, here's where we find out. Does it beat the US? So it was 133,000 for the United States of America. Yeah, United States is bigger. They've got the edge on the largest country. Just because Russia is landlocked all around its whole bottom half, basically. Trinidad and Tobago, I am sorry, but I think Russia's got that one in the bag. Now, we want Brazil to pop up. That's what I'm next most interested in. Libya is another quite easy one between these two. What is next? Croatia? I can't remember what it was. I think it was about 4K, though, so I'm going to click it. It was 5K, which is surprising because I think of Libya as being much, much larger. So this distance here is apparently smaller than this distance here. Here? These islands are probably counted, aren't they? And look, look how long and streaky they are. Yeah, I get it. Fair enough. Croatia and Hong Kong. Well, we've seen that Croatia's pretty big. Hong Kong, I think of as pretty small. So, yeah, Croatia wins it. What's the next one? It's Brazil. This is it. All our answers are being answered. That's not right. All our questions are being answered. Does Brazil have a longer coastline than the United States of America? Let's find out. Nowhere near. The US has over 100,000 kilometers more coastline. Get me on a map. Let me have a little look. So it's adding up all this, which is nothing to be sniffed at. That's a long, that. But United States has got all of these bits. It goes round under the bottom. It goes all the way up. And then you've obviously got Hawaii, but that's not going to add much. But then Alaska, that's what does it, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely Alaska doing all the heavy lifting there. That adds a lot. All these meanders up and round. Uh, this is obviously going to be Brazil. 33,000 compared to Cameroon. We have a score of 8 now. Can I beat 12? Yemen. Ugh. I think Yemen's surprisingly large, you know. I'm going to go with Yemen. It's got to be, yeah, about 3k. We're going to get to double figures now. Australia is definitely beating that. The largest island in the world, right? Is that right? Alright, I'm wrong about Australia. Greenland is, which makes sense. But apparently some people classify as a continent, so they're not quite sure where it goes on the list. Either way, I do not care right now. Australia definitely has a longer coastline than Poland. 66 6,000. We've made it to 11. We just need two more. Oh, I don't remember what Barbados was. I think it was three digits, though. It's two digits. Barbados is tiny. I'm going to have to have a look at it on the map. Oh, my God. It's absolutely tiny. I always thought of Barbados as like just being lots and lots of little islands, but it's, it's a really tiny, dinky little fella, and he's kind of being left out by these other Caribbean guys. They're all hanging out in their cool curve, and then poor Barbados is over on the side. It's a pretty spot, though, isn't it? I'll sit in that hammock right now. A tricky one for the crucial new high score. Brunei v Barbados. Brunei is very small, but is its coastline less than 97 kilometers, which is already very small? I think I'm going to pick Brunei. This is a gamble. Yes, we're okay. 200. Oh, new high score. Taiwan. Flag not to be mistaken with the Maldives. Uh, Taiwan, Brunei. Taiwan's an island. Goes all the way around. I think Brunei borders a couple of other countries, so I'm gonna go with Taiwan. Yeah, just adds up easy, doesn't it? Let's make it to 20. I'm gonna go France. That's nice and easy. 7,000. And then next, Marshall Islands. There's a lot of Marshall Islands, so I could be wrong here, but I'm gonna go with France. Oh, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> 16, Qatar. I'm gonna say Marshall Islands. Oh, I'm okay, I'm okay. We've made it to 17. Very, very nice. Cuba's big. It's definitely an easy win. Yeah, 14,000 coastline. Right, we might actually make it to 20. Cambodia surrounds a lot of countries. I don't think it can beat 14,000, but I might be wrong. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. For reference, let me get a look at Cambodia. So it's just this bit here that's actually coastline. Everything else is landlocked. The shape of Laos and Cambodia is really quite odd, isn't it? The way it, like, does this curve round thing. While I'm here, I'm hoping Myanmar will pop up because I've just seen this big long fella. That's gonna add a lot. I always visualize Myanmar as just this bit here, but it's got all this little like secret little slinky leg at the bottom. Cambodia and Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan surrounds a lot of countries. I would have dared to say that it's even landlocked. I guess all it needs is a dinky little connection to the sea and then it's on the list. There's a gamble, but I think I'm gonna click Kazakhstan. I'm just feeling kind of crazy. Yeah, 4,500. Where's that then? Ah, look, it's just this bit around the Caspian Sea. Every other bit connects to another country, apart from this quite significant stretch around here. Look at that. Okay, Indonesia on the other hand. Ooh, wasn't thinking about Indonesia when I was thinking about longest coastlines in the world. Indonesia is one of them countries that goes under the radar as like one of the biggest countries in the world because it's definitely top five. And if you were to put it on top of the US, it like goes all the way across. And it's got so many islands, so much access to the ocean that I think it potentially might have a longer coastline than the US. So let's find out. 
No, it doesn't. 95,000. Still an absolutely massive coastline, of course. But the US is still sitting up there. Okay, Mauritius and Indonesia. Indonesia, obviously going to win that. We're about to double our score. Oh, no. Carabas and Mauritius. These little oceanic countries are so tricky. I don't know. Oh, God. I'm going to go with Mauritius. Oh, no. No. 22 is good. We're in the top 1% now, which is better than the start of this video when it was telling me to go look at a map. Okay, I'm going to have one last game. And if I get to at least 15, you have to subscribe. That's the rule, okay? Macau? I don't know anything about Macau. I've never even heard of Macau. <laughs> I don't know. I'll go with Tonga. Tonga's not much. Where's Macau? It's just a, a region of China for whatever reason. And it does not have that much access to the ocean. Yeah, that's a dinky fella. Somalia and Tonga. Somalia goes all the way around the Horn of Africa. That is a clear winner there. 3,800. What did I need to get? Was it at least 15 for you to subscribe? Well, uh, I think we should be okay clicking on Perum. <laughs> Don't shake your head like that at me, Lewis. Okay, well, I guess you don't have to subscribe. No problem. I'd still appreciate it if you did, though. Thank you for watching. Link to this game will be in the description, and I'll see you later.